Hi guys, this is Amardeep Srivastav and uh, this is the continuation of my numerical series and this is a question which I have taken from the transmission and distribution portion of power system analysis. In this question, they have asked about the reactive power compensation through a, through a connected capacitor which is here connected capacitor. Now, in this question, they have said that <clears throat> there is a single line diagram of a power system network is shown below in which two generator that is this is generator G1 and generator G2 is connected. There are two generator which is connected generator G1 and generator G2 is connected by an interconnecting link of zero J0.2 per unit. This is the reactance value that is A0.2 for this two generator connected segment. This SD1 that is the complex power delivered to the load one and this is the SD2 which is complex power delivered to the load two. <clears throat> C is the capacitance, C is the excessive capacitance which we have connected at bus number 2 that is V2 to just supply the reactive power requirement of the generator 2 or reactive power demand which has to be supplied by the generator 2, generator 1 combination as well as the capacitance which is connected as a shunt across the bus bar voltage V2 because of this demand as D2. <clears throat> now, Loads at generator G1 and G2 are given that is the complex load is 10 plus J10 that is P1 plus JQ1 that is the act active power demand active power demand at the bus B1 active power and reactive power demand at bus 1 is this SD1 which is given in per unit that is P1 plus JQ1 in per, per unit active and reactive power demand of the bus 2 that is SD2 that is the complex power demand at the bus number 2 is given as 10 plus J5. <clears throat> Voltages of V1 and V2 that is at two buses are given as one angle 30 and V2 is one angle 0. If power factor of G2, power factor of the generator 2 is unity given. Then the question they are asking that then the reactive power rating of capacitor C in per unit will be. Now, as in all the detail given, we know that SD1 is that is complex power demand to the generator to the to the bus bar voltage 1 is SD1 is 10 plus J10. It is given in the question. Similarly, <clears throat> voltage at bus bar 1, V1 is 1 angle 30 degree. This angle is the load angle delta. I need not to tell you about this because V1 and V2, this is a sending in voltage and this is the receiving in voltage. So, this is given as V1 is 1 angle 30 <clears throat> and V2 is 1 angle 0. Okay. Let me change the color of the pen so that it will be easy for you to visualize. So V2 is 1 angle 0. Okay. Now, as per the given question, this generator power factor, the power factor of the generator 2 is 1, unity. That is unity power factor. That is, this generator will not supply any reactive power to any of the requirement across this voltage bus bar V2. That is, this generator supply, that is, if we take the generator QZ2, if you will take this as the reactive power supply by the generator 2, then it will be 0. So you can say that QZ2, that is the reactive power supplied by the generator is 0. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> let me erase the thing so that it will be clear to express the things. Now, as, as per the reactive power demand, so you can say that if this is the reactive power Q2, which is coming from the generator or generator G1, and if this capacitor will supply QC and there is if there is there any reactive power supplied by the generator G2 is QG2 which is equals to 0 as the generator is operating in unity power factor mode. <clears throat> so applying the reactive power compensation at bus V2. So you can say that Q2 plus QC that is the reactive power supply by the sunt capacitor which is connected across the bus 2 plus QG2 that is the reactive power which is which has to be supplied by the generator 2 <clears throat> is equal to QD2 that is the reactive power requirement of the load <coughs> QD2 which is equals to SD2 that is J5 per unit this is the reactive power demand of the bus so this value is QD2 value is as per this load demand it is it will be J5 that is 5 per unit okay now as QZ2 is 0, QZ2 is 0 as the generator is operating in power factor, power factor, unity power factor. So if you will calculate the value of Q2, that is the reactive power supplied from the generator 1 to the generator 2, 
then how we will calculate we will calculate the value of power flow equation power flow equation will be what v1 v2 by x tie line reactance into cos of delta minus v2 square by x we will we will apply this equation if we will apply this equation <coughs> and also sd2 that is the load requirement of the buses number 2 bus num bus 2 at load at present at the bus number 2 is s2 sd2 is 10 plus j5 so as delta is equals to 30 degree is given as v1 is one angle 30 degree so <clears throat> what will be the value of q2 q2 will be equals to 1 by 0 0.2 as the tie line reactance between the two buses is j0.2 cos of delta that is cos of 30 degree minus 1 so from this on solving this on the calculator i am getting minus 0 0.67 per unit this is the reactive power which is supplied from the generator 1 to the generator 2 now <clears throat> q demand at bus number 2 at bus 2 q d2 that is q demand at bus number 2 is 5 per unit which is which has to be supplied by the um, generator 1 capacitance connected and the generator 2 but generator 2 will not supply any reactive power as its power factor is unity so <clears throat> from the power balance equation you can say that minus 0 0.67 that is q2 plus q g2 that is the generator which will sub generator 2 that that has to be supplied some reactive power but as the generator 2 react uh, power factor is unity it will not supply any reactive power so its its value will be zero plus qc that that is the capacitance reactive power supplied by the sunt capacitance connected across the bus 2 is equals to 5 from this you can easily calculate the value of reactive power supplied by the capacitance which is connected its value is 5.67 per unit so this type of question is <clears throat> I don't think it's, it's very tough, but uh, if you have to, you have to know some some of the criteria based on the reactive power and active power supply from the bus one to bus two or any bus to any bus connected in the system, as well as you have to know the nature of the capacitance connected across these lines. So I think this is the easy question, but this is the basic one. So I have taken this. I have taken this question from uh, uh, from Stevenson. This question is given even in Stevenson. This is gate previous year question also. So you can this type of question is also come in gate gate ESC and all all those type of examinations. So stay in touch and kindly join my Telegram channel, which I have which will which I will provide in the link in the description box from gate ESC simplified name. So join there and we will be in touch with some technical new new and innovative questions from exam related to gate and ESC. Thank you so much.